Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is part five of .NET full stack series. So if you're watching this video for the first time, then I will highly recommend you guys to go ahead and watch my part one to part four of this particular .NET series. And then only whatever I'll do will make sense to you guys. So as you saw in the previous video, we have created all these controllers. We have seen how do we create our first API controller. Uh, in, in in our dotnet project okay so now as i have promised that in this today's video we are going to touch base this domain layer where we will be creating our entities so in clean architecture right the entities represents the core business objects okay so they basically helps you to encapsulate the essential data and the behavior related to that particular domain concept okay so if you uh, if you see the diagram over here right what we have discussed so this is the innermost layer okay so this is the innermost layer of your clean architecture and if you noticed one thing over here right so this layer is quite independent of any other external dependencies like your database or your interfaces like user interface okay so that's what this entity is what we are going to create inside this particular domain okay and for us right what we are creating a blog application so let's discuss about what are entities that we will be having here so before that let me just show you the table representation like what are the relationship we will have so this is the ERD diagram right for our blogging system so what things we will have here so the first thing right i want to keep things very much simple so i'll start with this user table so you have this user entity where it will have a id username password and email okay and also you can see the data type as well that id will be of type int and this is the primary key of our table of the user table okay so entities are nothing but the table what we will be creating it in the db by using entity framework core okay so this is what the first entity what we have okay and if you see the second entity over here right we have this roles table which will have id and name that's it okay and id will be your integer type with a prime and this will be the primary key which is unique okay and what i have over here right if you see this right so i have a many to many relationship right so this is what i have created here so now i have user roles which will have user id as my this which is coming from here and i have the role id which is coming from this particular table and this is what i will how i will maintain my user role okay so that i can have like two three roles right for example i have admin and user role so what i will do right for example my user id is one so this table will have two records for a user id one i will have role as one and for user id one again i will have role as two and this is don't worry guys i will be showing you all whenever we will create the api we will create the user then we will also see the see the tables like what are the changes in the table happens and then this thing will make more sense but just to tell you guys that this will have a many to many relationship all right with this particular table all right so now let's go over here and let's see what we have the main thing the blog right so the blog will have the id it will have title content it will have image as well it will have the created and updated date and then you will have a user id associated with this one okay which means that one user can create many blogs right so that's what you will be tracking the user id over here so this is what the relationship what i have if you see this arrow over here this is one to many relationship okay and not just that right if you created a blog right then you then people can do comments right in your blog so for that we will have a comments entity over here which will have this your id the the id of this particular comment you will have your blog id you will have your content and you will also maintain the created and updated date like when the comment was created and if somebody updates right so that also you will be able to track it over here and you also have to specify like okay which user has added that comment so that's how you can capture all this particular records and this is what we are going to create now in our domain layer so this is what the entities that i will have to create now all right so let's go in your vs code and let's open up this inside the domain you have to use this entities folder so now first i have to create the entity so what i'll do i'll create on this add new file and then I'll select a class and the first one I want to create is the user. Okay. So let me create the user entity. Okay. So that's what you have. It's just the C sharp class. And over here you have to create all the entities. And for that, what you can say, just use a prop and then you have to create your first entity, which is your ID. And then again, the same way you can do for the others as well. So you create props. Okay. This one is required. So you can also put that this is required. This is of type string. Okay. You can specify the string and this one is nothing but your user name. Okay, I had username, then I had password and then I had email. Let me create all of those. Again, this is my required field and then I'll say this is of type string and this is email. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and create the third one, which is my password. 
okay so again i'll use this prop and then this is required again to create this particular entity and then i'll say this is of type string and this is my password okay so let me just use this and let me specify that this is my password okay so this is what the user entity will have id username email and password okay now what is the next thing we have to do let's create our second entity which was role to create this click on this file choose class and write here role okay we will do something similar we will create the prop okay and again this is int and this is nothing but your id role id okay and again you can say prop and then you can see this is anyway this is my primary key right so this is required and you must have be a question sashi why you are not using the id attribute on the top and whatnot so what i will be doing i will be creating so if you remember right i have created a configuration okay if you go in the infrastructure folder i have a configuration folder so whatever configuration for the db i'll have to create it inside this particular folder so i will talk about that later but yeah for now let's just focus on creation of the entities okay so now this one is again a required field and this is of type string and this one if you remember the db entity so this is nothing but my name so the role entity will have id and name and let's save the changes okay so now two entities created so let me also create the other three and then come back all right so here if you see right now i have also created the blog comments roles okay so now let me just show you what blog has so this has the id title content image and all that also for the comment i have all this bare minimum created now if you ask me right Shashi, how do we configure the relationship if you remember right uh, we had few relationship over here so we have this user then we have this role and then we have created this user role table kind of thing right so for that right let me just go ahead and create the one more entity which is my user role okay so let's go here and create the entity click here choose a class and i'll say user role okay and hit enter so now what this user role will have right so this guy will consist of two things so let me create the property which is int and this is my user id okay and this user id is of the user so you have to specify the user as well okay and after doing this right what will happen right this will create a relationship after adding this right this will like start establish a re relationship between your user table and same thing i have to do it for the role because i have to establish the many to many relationship here so what i'll do right i'll say this is my role id and this is coming from my role okay so this is my role and this is what i have to put it like this okay so that's what i have did to establish this particular relationship what you see in front of you okay so once this is done right i have to also establish one more relationship with my blog and user okay so what will happen here right a blog will have so if you see right this is one to many relationship like one user can have many blogs right like one user can write many blogs right so that's what you have to do so over here right i have to get a user id over here okay so this is the foreign key correct and this is because why is it foreign because this is primary key in its own table and this id is used over here so this becomes the foreign key and to do that right by using the entities so let's go here and do that so what i will do right i'll go in this blog and to create that relationship i will say int user id and then i will also add this particular user and now this will establish the one to many relationships over here okay but one user can have many blogs which means inside the blog right you also have to specify that now user can have many blogs so this is what you will do okay so this is for the roles that's fine and this is for the blogs okay which means that one user can have many blogs and then one user can have roles okay over here the, the list of roles what you see because we have to establish the many to many relationship okay now if you see the arrow over here right okay so this roles is doing one to many with this table and this user is doing one to many with this table so that's what you do right so now if you go in the comment in the sorry in the user roles you have this one okay but in its own table you you see the many with a list same thing if you see for the blogs right in the blog you have this one okay and then if you go in its own table you will see the list which means one to many relationship has been established like one user can have many roles okay in the same way one user can have sorry i think i just did a uh, reverse other way around so one user can have many blocks and one user can have many roles many roles is what is nothing but super admin admin and user itself 
okay now same thing you have to do it for the comments like a uh, one user can do comments right so for the same thing right what we will do right if you go in your comments right so in the comment you have to do something similar for the user so over here i will add that first property of int and this is my user id okay and then in the next line you'll have to say user if you do this one user then it will have many comments for one user so let's go in the user table again and here you can specify the list of comments okay and now you can say that the relationship for the user is established if you see this one to the user then one to the blog and one to the particular role okay so now i can say that my user entity is ready okay let's take a look at the roles table okay the roles table again you did something here right a one role okay but if you go in the roles right you haven't added the list here so let me just add the list over here okay to add the list you can just do here public list of user roles and this is what it will be looking like all right so now this role is also done all right so last thing what is pending is the comment so if you go in the entity relationship right so now over here right now you have one blog and then you have this comments over here one to many with the comments which means that one blog can have many comments right okay suppose i have created a blog here and then like there are five ten people who are trying to comment so it's quite self-explanatory right one blog can have many comments so let's do the relationship that like let's do the relationship for that now okay so i'll go here in this user entity so now over here in the comments right i have this particular role so what i will do here i will also have to do something similar for the blog id so i'll just copy paste here okay and this will become my blog id and uh, just below this i will make use of this class blog and this will become my blog okay so now i have one blog over here in this comment and then this one blog over here then you have to specify okay if there is one then here it will be many because a blog can have many comments and that's what you will try to do it over here and let's save both the changes and now if you just take a glance over here right so now i'm also capturing this particular user id okay in this particular blog like who has written the blog and also just below i can see all the list of comments as well and now if you see the comments entity over here so now okay who has written the comment so you are capturing the user id and for which blog you are trying to write the comment you are also capturing the blog id for the comment the content of the comment and what time the comment was created and what time it was updated okay and now i can confidently say that we are done with creation of our entities okay and now if you really want me to, like if you want this particular code right so what i'm doing right this is already available here if you go on this website uh like buy me coffee so i will be providing this link in the description anyway so you can go here and you can pay this small amount it will be a big help for me to to come up with such content so i will highly recommend if you want the code and everything so you can get it over here okay so you can go ahead and download it from here and then if you have any problem to while configuring the project then do let me know i will be there to help you guys as well okay so that's it from this today's video where we have discussed about creating the entities for our blog project so that's all for today folks so in the next video we will explore how this entity interacts with the other components of the clean architecture such as the services and the repositories okay but even before that right to create those repositories we will have to identify like what kind of orm we are going to use for this particular project and most of you already know that if you are using dotnet then there is a quite famous orm which is entity framework course so we will be using entity framework in our next video where i will help you to understand how we can configure ef core for our clean architecture project okay so if you have any questions any doubt related to this thing then you can let me know in the comment section until next time see you guys and happy learning